YouTube what's going on and welcome to the 22nd episode of the Anderlet career mode in this episode we are going to be playing only two games in this episode basically because some setting in the video which would help me create longer videos and also makes the video format take up less space on my computer so I'd be able to make longer videos and also save some more stuff so I'm just trying to test this out to see if the footage is much different change the frames from 60 frames per second to 30 PlayStation and the video editing software that I edit on are both only 30 frames per second so editing the footage to 30 frames per second shouldn't make any difference but in this video I hope that it's just going to be the same as always and if it is that will just help me make some better videos and just more videos overall and some longer videos so this should be pretty exciting. The footage, uh, there might be a little stuff wrong with it. It didn't go into the editing software uh, totally correctly. It wouldn't appear on the top, so if it's just all black and you just hear my voice talking, I apologize, then I'll have to redo this upload. But yeah, so this uh, this footage would was not like going in correctly, so now we're going to jump into this game as we see that uh, we go on the ball. We try to steal it from Southampton, but that's the end of the first half. We had a decent first half, but just not enough chances to go. This game was pretty hard to edit because it was really small, so if I make a couple errors, then my bad. But here comes Vieto on the ball right here. He's going around a couple defenders. He goes, he tries to have a shot, and he scores Vieto with the goal to make it Anderlecht 1, Southampton 0. So Vieto scores a crucial goal in this game. Hopefully we can get the three points and stay just on pace with all the great teams so far this year. Because, oh man, there has just been no teams in the top six really dropping points at all. So if we drop any points, that's just going to be disappointing. And I'll, I'll just say this one more time. If my editing is a little bit worse in this video, I apologize because of the video going in. As I tried to do something with Hoiberg on both these corners, but it just doesn't work. But here comes Zambolo on the ball right now. He's dribbling it around. He cuts it back inside. He goes in and a terrible slide cha challenge from the Southampton defender. Might have been Alderweireld or Jose Ponte. So we'll see Thielman step up to take the penalty. He goes up to take the penalty right now. And he's stepping up to take the penalty. And, of course, Thielman puts it in the top corner. Keeper, no chance. And... Anderlecht 2, Southampton 0. This game's going perfectly according to plan. And that was just perfect that Thielman scored the goal to really ice the game and just give us another win. So hopefully this video is just as good as all my other videos, just maybe a little bit shorter and maybe the cuts are a little bit uh, longer. But we can see the Belgium national squad, as many of you, I'm sure all of you who have been watching the series know, that I took the Belgium national team. So you can just see the squad that I, that I picked. I picked um, a good amount of Anderlecht players because I want them to... Uh, have the chance to be promoted into the national team and I hope it like raise their morals or something so I'm running with the same first 11 as I did last game as I have done in pretty much almost every Barclays Premier League game this year as we see the controller gets disconnected but I didn't have to turn it back on so yeah this team is just a really good team it's been running really well right now and until we uh we just play some run into some bad form I'm gonna keep this 11 going hopefully pretty much every game but and below is on the ball right here he's trying to make something happen he gives it back on the wing to Vieto. Vieto tries to make something happen, but Luke Shaw with the interception. Now Shaw on the ball right now. He th this is a deep throw in. Ben Davies wins the header, but only to Di Maria. Di Maria intercepted by Tielmans. Tielmans is going. He'll have a hit. And he'll score. Yuri Tielmans with the stunning goal. When this guy does score, it's either a penalty or an amazing long shot. There's no in-between. Just steals the ball from Di Maria and just puts it in the top corner. Stunning from the young Belgian as Andy Anderlecht takes the lead in Old Trafford. So just some amazing scenes right here, seeing Yuri Thielmans give us the 1-0 lead at halftime. And now here come United in the second half right here. It's up to Di Maria right now. Di Maria passes it to Rafael. Rafael ball to the center. Kagawa wins the header. Welbeck goes for a scissor kick, but he missed it. And the ref's going to give a penalty right here. I saw nothing there. That is shocking from the referee. It looked like Welbeck went to do a scissor kick, but Rooney steps up and Rooney puts it in the back of the net. So disappointing. It looked like Welbeck tried to do a scissor kick and fell over, and the ref must have fallen for it and thought he was pushed in the back and gives a penalty. Wow. But here comes Anderlecht again. They're trying to take the lead back. It's Mbolo inside to Hoiberg. Hoiberg with the shot. Never since the penalty, we just didn't play very well the rest of the game. I think we were kind of rattled a little bit because of just the penalty. And I think I was a little frustrated in the game right here, so I didn't play my best. As we see, oh my god, it's Manchester United going for the lead. But it's unfortunately for United fans, it's Danny Welbeck missing the chance in the 90th minute. 
the ref eventually blows for the final whistle. So very disappointing to lose points. I'm going to be showing you the league table right here. And if we would have won that game, we would have obviously stayed in second. But with the draw because of that bad penalty decision, we dropped to fifth place overall. So very disappointing. But hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And it ran just as good as all the other ones, guys.